Stella? Hmm. Stella, my baby sister. Hmm. Is he gone? Stan? Yes. Will he come back? Oh, well, he went to get the car greased. Why? Why? Why, Stella? I've been half crazy oh. when I found out that you had come back in here last night. Oh. After what happened, I started to oh. run in after you. Oh. Well, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> what were you thinking? Okay. Answer me. What? What? Blanche, Blanche, please. Just sit down. Stop yelling. Oh. All right, Stella. I will repeat the question mm -hmm. quietly. How could you come back in this place last night? Why, you must have slept with him. <laughs> oh, Blanche. I've forgotten how excitable you are. You're making much too much fuss about all this. I am? Yes, Blanche, you are. Now, I know how it must have seemed to you, and I'm awful sorry it had to happen. But in the first place, when men are drinking and playing poker, <laughs> anything can happen. It, it's always a powder keg. Stanley didn't know what he was doing last night. He was as sweet as a lamb when he got back, and he's really very, very ashamed of himself. And that, that makes it all right? <laughs> no. It isn't all right for anybody to make such a terrible row, but people do sometimes. And Stanley's always smashed things. <laughs> well, on our wedding night, <laughs> we rushed in here. He snatched off my slipper, ran about the place, and smashed all the light bulbs with it. He what? <laughs> He smashed all the light bulbs with the heel of my slipper. <laughs> and you let him? Didn't run? Didn't scream? <laughs> I don't know. I was... <laughs> I was sort of thrilled by it. <laughs> mm. Unison, you had breakfast? You suppose I wanted breakfast? <sighs> There's some coffee left over on the stove. Stella. You're so matter-of-fact about it. Oh, God, what other can I be? He, he took the radio to go get it fixed. It didn't land on the pavement, so only one tube was smashed. And you're standing there smiling. What do you want me to do? Pull yourself together. Face the facts. <laughs> what are they in your opinion? In my opinion, you're married to a madman. <laughs> No. Yes, you are. Mm. Your fix is worse than mine. Only you're not doing anything about it. I'm doing something, pulling myself together, making myself a new life. Yes? And you're, you're just staying in it. You're not old. You can get out. I'm not in anything I want to get out of. What? Stella. I said I'm not in anything I have a desire to get out of. I mean, look at the mess in this room. There was empty bottles. They went through two cases last night. You stand the promise you was going to stop having these poker parties, but well, you know how long such a promise like that's going to keep. Well, you know, it's his pleasure. Like mine are movies and bridge. <laughs> People have just got to learn to tolerate each other's habits, I guess. I don't understand you. I don't understand your indifference. <laughs> is this some type of Chinese philosophy you're cultivating? Uh, is what? What? This mumbling about and shuffling. Uh, One smash, two beer bottles, mess in the kitchen. Uh, as if nothing out of the ordinary uh, has happened. Uh, Are you swinging that thing in my face on purpose? Uh, no! Give it to me! Give it to me! I won't have you cleaning up after him. <laughs> Who's going to do it, are you? I? I? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. If I could just think. If I could just get my thoughts together. We need to get hold of some money. <laughs> Money's always a nice thing to get a hold of. Let me think. Listen to me. I have an idea of sorts. You remember Shep Hutling? Mm -mm. Of course you do. I went with him in college, wore his pin for a while. Well, anyway, well? 
I well in, ran into him last winter. You know I went to Miami for the uh, Christmas break? No. Well, I did. I went there and took that trip as sort of an investment <sighs> to see if I could meet up with someone with a million dollars. <laughs> did you? Yes. I ran into Shep Hutling. I ran into him on Christmas Eve on Biscayne Boulevard about dusk. He was getting into his car, car a red convertible. You know what oil wells are? Yes, remotely. Well, Shep has them all over Texas. Money is literally sprouting gold in his pockets. Mmm, mama. <laughs> well, you know how indifferent I am towards money. <laughs> I see it in terms of what it can do for you. Mm -hmm. But he could do it. He could certainly do it. Do what, Blanche? Why, set us up in a shop. <laughs> what kind of a shop? What? Some kind of a shop? Well, he could do it with half the money his wife throws away at the racetrack. He's married? <laughs> Honey, if he were married, would I be standing here? 